And there's a serial robber out there using a gun, and officials say he needs to be caught before someone gets hurt. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo tells us more in this Crime Trackers report. Pito's taco shop here is one of seven locations that's been robbed. As soon as he walked in, he just had his gun pointed at me. Edgar is one of the victims. He asked we not show his face, but can't erase what happened on August 10th, just as he was closing the restaurant. And I was just, you know, keeping calm, just asked him what he wanted, and he's like, I need all the money from the register. So that's when I pretty much opened the register and gave him all the money. Pima County Sheriff's detectives say this man walked into Fitos. This is surveillance video from an armed robbery the day before at a subway. This uh, individual has hit convenience stores and restaurants. He's described as a white man, heavy built, about six foot tall. He wears a bright white or black polo shirt. He's also wearing either sweatpants or dark colored pants. This vehicle, an older model four-door sedan, has been seen leaving the businesses. And he has a camo mask covering his face. The first robbery was on August 3rd. One of the last robberies occurred at Nico's Taco Shop on Campbell Avenue. And he is wearing gloves and is armed with a black handgun. Detectives also say incidents like this where, where guns are involved and somebody's robbing a store, we know that they can turn violent very quickly. Edgar says he considers himself lucky he wasn't hurt. He's hit multiple businesses already. I mean, it's kind of scary. <laughs> so, I mean, I hope he gets caught. Detectives say Edgar did the right thing by handing over the money. Frankly, frankly, your life isn't worth the money that's in the cash register. No life is worth that. If you have any information, you are urged to call 911 or 88 Crime. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.